What's going on, dudes? Great in here, and boy, oh boy, I have some weird uh, stuff to share with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I just posted a video literally like a few hours, not even a few hours ago. I uploaded a video yesterday, or I left it overnight, and I took it off private, so it's up now. You guys will definitely check that out right there. But um, I... Well, went to work as if you did watch the video you you already know i work every single day i went to work got off um came home well not really i went to go pick up my sister uh with my mom and shit and uh we stopped by some uh family friends close friends and stuff and shit and pretty much we had like a giant breakfast at their house and stuff and I was just running back and forth because uh, my mom told me, oh, bring some food from there. Go bring some this. Go bring that. I was like, all right. I don't care. Fuck it. But uh, I after that, after we finished eating, I came home to pretty much a weird, how do I say? I get, it was in my email, but really it was a message on YouTube. Pretty much some random kid named Alex. I'm sorry if, well, I mean, you okay well you you'll you'll get to the well this kid he said he said his name is Alex and he randomly sent me this weird message and here I mean this is completely out of the ordinary it's not even has nothing to do with minecraft has nothing to do with gaming as I, I I just don't even know how to explain it but okay here this is what he pretty much asked me uh great I've watched your videos in the past before, or the videos that you recently have up, and I really like how you play Minecraft. Well, not he didn't say it exactly like that, but I mean he did say it nicely in a different way. But all right, let's, let's let me just get straight to the point. Here's what here's what he really asked me. I recently broke up with my bitch of an ex girlfriend two months ago. In our relationship, we really never did anything. It was really boring. And at that moment when he said that, I was. I was like, what, what, what's going on here? Here, let me... Now my volley. Okay. But, uh, let's see. In our relationship, or his relationship, he says, we really never did anything. It was really boring. I always got tired, or I always tried to go out and stuff. All she ever wanted to do is do drugs and drink beer. Hmm. <laughs> and it, it gets odder and odder. Okay. Uh, she used to get mad at me because I would never have a dollar to buy her a beer. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, she slapped me at some point in time and got tired of it. Sometimes I would try taking her out to a movie, but all she really wanted to do was drink beer. But now that we broke up, I feel like I don't have any homies anymore. Okay. I really don't know what's... What's the problem? I feel really weird when I do try to go out. I just think I got too comfortable yeah, too comfortable doing nothing and just sitting around at home because of her. Any advice on how I can actually enjoy going out? I really need help, especially the fact that I live in fucking Las Vegas, same as you, Grayton. And yes, I am 21. And for some reason, apparently, it's not very fun. Please, I beg. I'm on my knees. Help me, for the love of God. I'm tired of sitting at home. That's... I got home to that message, and I was a bit shocked. I was like, wow. <laughs> Why would you come to me out of everybody else for <laughs> advice like this? I mean, maybe I know Alex. I don't know. Maybe I met him in the past. Or maybe I went to school with him. I don't know. But uh, I guess you need some help some relationship advice i i don't know but all right dude i guess i'll help you out um alex if you're watching this i'm sorry if i made a video about it but i had to because it's just it it shocked me how you just sent me this randomly it's like a complete stranger i mean maybe i do know you maybe i don't but it really did shock me how you just sent me this i mean it's not every day that I get an email asking for relationship advice. Most of the time I get an email saying, oh, great, and you suck at Minecraft. I mean, it's not that I suck at Minecraft, I just... Shit. 
do I? <laughs> no, but um, pretty much. All right, let's let's get on to this because um, apparently this dude's struggling with his ex girlfriend and his homies aren't being there for him. It's just kind of fucked up. Homies are supposed to be there. Like, whatever happened to that term, bros before hoes and shit? You know, I mean, I'm is, is that still around? Does that still work or something? I don't know. But all right, dude, let's get on to it. So you're asking me how you could do stuff now that you're like now with your ex-girlfriend and stuff. So the best advice that I would give you is um, try to like do something, dude. Like, I mean, I know that you've tried to go out and stuff, but I mean, the best you can do is just try to hit up some of your homies. There's the homies that you still have. Let them know, hey, buddy, like I'm re I've been really lonely. Like my ex just broke up with me or we broke up and shit. And it's like, explain to your friends, like, the situation, like, you explain to me. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure your homies would be like, damn, that's for your friends if you do have any. <laughs> Sorry if you don't. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, explain to them. Like, tell them, like, hey, dude, like, my girl, she's a bitch. She's like, she slapped me and stuff. Like, that's just sad at the same time. I'm sorry, but that's just kind of sad. If you're letting your girl just slap you around, treating you like you're a piece of shit, dude, I mean, come on, dude. Like, I mean, each person has to be treated with respect. I mean, depends. If you treated her like shit, then, I mean, it's understandable. But if you treated her like a damn princess, then it's, I mean, fuck, dude. Slap that bitch back. <laughs> no, don't. You'll go to jail. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, dude, like, the best advice that I can tell you is, I mean, go out, go, like, have, like, a boys' night out or something, dude, because, I mean, I know, like, I, I know when, um, I was, like, in a, my la last relationship, like, I was, like, oh, like, man, what a bitch, <laughs> but, uh, I, like, I, I hit up my homies, and I told them, all right, dude, like, fuck it, like, I mean, I'm still young, you know? Uh, let's go for out for like a boys night out and stuff. You know, we just went. And since I do live in Las Vegas, I just hit up the Las Vegas Strip, and uh, I'm not gonna mention anything else. It, party too hard. What happens in Vegas stays in uh, stays in Vegas, and I mean, apparently I live here, so I'll let you guys figure that one out. But uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. I mean, the best, like I said, try to hit up your homies, explain the story to them. I mean, because that is kind of jacked up how your girl always just wanted to party and drink and shit. Because, I mean, me living in Las Vegas, knowing most girls here, they I know how most girls are nowadays. Especially at this age. It's just inappropriate behavior. And um, I, I know how you feel. Most girls just want to party, want to go out and stuff. And, I mean, that that's understandable too. But, damn, like, you, you have a man. You have a boyfriend. You have a girlfriend. You got to be responsible for that girl, you know? You can't be like, actually, I said this one time on Facebook, too. Um, a girl always posts, like, I mean, when I'm on Facebook, obviously, a girl posts, like, uh, excuse me. When, uh, when I'm on Facebook, I always see a girl post, like, uh, like, oh, what the hell, man? Um, all right, let's try this again. When I'm on Facebook, I always see a girl post, like, she wants a boyfriend to show off to the world and stuff, da 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 da. And most of that shit is just I I call so much bullshit on that because whenever whenever you are with that girl and stuff and she never really shows you off except she tries to go ninja on you and tries to fucking disappear on you and shit. Have you ever noticed that? I've noticed it a lot. Like you're you're in a relationship and you're with a girl and stuff and. You're over here trying to do shit, but she always, like, comes up with this fucking excuse saying, oh, no, I don't want to. And then, like, you later find out she fucking went, goes out behind your fucking back and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you slut. Like, what the fuck are you doing behind my back and shit, you know? So that makes you kind of wonder and think. So, uh, but yeah, man. Like, I mean, I really don't know what to tell you. That's just the weirdest message I've ever gotten. Like, I really have. Like, that was out of the ordinary. I mean, I do Minecraft videos, not, like, I'm not no Dr. Phil over here and shit, you know, but, uh, I guess I tried to help you. Give me props for that, dude, because, I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, dudes, well, um, this is a odd thing. Well, yeah, it is, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because this is just too weird.
yeah <laughs> all right well do um like comment subscribe and uh stay tuned for uh more videos in the near future and maybe yeah something <laughs> oh and in my last video i did mention i will i was gonna um raffle out my microphone and um i still haven't figured out how i'm gonna do it but give me some time and probably i'm gonna pick out I, I mean i have a few subscribers so i probably will add um have like a raffle out of my subscribers or something or have them do like little challenges or some shit i don't know maybe i'll turn on a server i'll make a server like add, add um invite all of you guys so you guys can play maybe we'll do like an elim elimination game or something like that you know maybe we'll do a hunger games that yeah that'd be pretty cool i'll set up a server hunger games or something like that i'll make a small arena for 24 people or a couple people or whoever signs up or lets me know so i can add them to the list and um yeah i'll add the certain amount of people that can join and hopefully we can get some hunger games going and the winner will receive my microphone and that is the microphone that i'm currently using right now because i just ordered a new one again and i will be using that one from now on so stay tuned for more information on that raffle because i'm really excited to do this and i hope you guys are too so like comment subscribe and comment if you guys are interested in the raffle and let me know if you guys have any ideas for it because i mean i need i do need some help i don't want to just do this all alone and stuff you know so if you have any raffling ideas and stuff like that you can either send me a message or just post in a comment or something like that and i'd gladly appreciate the stuff you guys say i mean unless it's, it's it's not dumb or anything like that but um like like i said like comment subscribe uh, uh, and, uh stay tuned for more dudes peace out Oh, 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 oh,